Hey everyone, I'm Andrew from Custom Design Partners, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up reCAPTCHA on your Divi contact forms. Let's get started. If you're using Divi contact forms, you might have noticed that a lot of spam comes through them because they're not using any sort of complex CAPTCHA service. The CAPTCHA is basically a math problem, very easy for bots to crack. So today I'm gonna to show you how to set up Google's reCAPTCHA and stop these spam contact form submissions from landing in your inbox. So the first step is go to google.com slash reCAPTCHA. Once you go to google.com slash reCAPTCHA, you'll click v3 admin console to get started. Then once you click into the admin console, you'll see something that looks like this. So to add a new site to your reCAPTCHA account, click this little plus in the top right corner. Now to create the account on reCAPTCHA for your website, you'll need to give it a name, make it something simple, easy to remember. I'm gonna make mine custom. And then make sure you select V3 of reCAPTCHA. This is the latest and greatest version of it. The next step is to add your domain. Make sure to add your domain without any HTTP or HTTPS or anything like that in front of it, just the domain. So once you've submitted that information, you have created your reCAPTCHA account for this website and you'll be given your API key information, please leave this tab open while you go on to the next step. So now that you've got your account set up, you've got your API keys, the next step is to implement it on your Divi contact forms. So let's get started by editing a page. Open up a new tab, log into your website that you're editing, and then select the page that you would like to edit with the contact forms. So now that I'm on my homepage, which has contact forms that I'd like to implement reCAPTCHA on, I'm going to find the contact forms. So here's the first contact form on my page. I'm gonna go ahead and open the module settings on this contact form. Now that your module settings are up, scroll down about halfway until you see spam protection and then click on spam protection. You'll want to select that you want to use a spam protection service and the only option available is reCAPTCHA, so select that one. The next step is to input your account name and your API keys. So I'm gonna open that tab that we had open and copy and paste that information into my Divi contact form settings. Once you've done that, click submit and then save your module. Okay, so now that you've added the account, you need to select that account you just added. So I'm gonna select custom and then I'm gonna save my module. So I only put the reCAPTCHA on the first contact form on my webpage. You need to make sure that you add this on all contact forms on your website. So scroll down, find any more contact forms that might be on that page and then follow the steps that we just did, except you don't have to input the API keys again. You'll just select your account name from the dropdown. Now that you've saved your modules with the reCAPTCHA, please update your page and then go view your page and you'll see that your website will now have the reCAPTCHA logo in the bottom right hand corner. This now means that your contact form is protected by Google's reCAPTCHA and you won't have to worry about spam landing in your inbox from your contact form. Thanks for watching everybody. 
Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more informational and helpful content about website design, conversion rate optimization, cybersecurity, and more.